Good morning to my Washington Street family. This is Mr. Terrence coming at you again. A happy, happy, happy Sunday. I know that we are one week closer um, to Christmas. I know actually this Friday is going to be Christmas. So I want to be the first to wish you guys a merry, merry, merry Christmas. I hope that y'all get everything that you asked for. And so let's go ahead and jump into our lesson for today. So we're going to be talking about the miracles of Jesus. Okay. We're going to be talking about the miracles of Jesus, specifically uh, the 12 year old girl who was healed by Jesus. So, of course, we all know the story of Jesus healing people. He was going through the town and he was just healing people left and right, left and right. He was healing people. So there was a synagogue leader named Jairus and he had a 12 year old daughter who was sick. So he saw Jesus going throughout the town and he was saying, excuse me, Jesus, I know you're a very, 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 very busy man, but my daughter is sick and I was wondering if you could heal her. So, of course, Jesus said, OK. And then as they were going to his house, there were people who were crying and they were yelling and they were screaming because Jairus's daughter had died. So Jesus said something very, very important that I think we should all continue to think about. He said, all you have to do is believe. So all you have to do is believe. All you have to do is have faith. So once he got to the house and he saw the little girl, he told the little girl to get up. And she got up. That's basically the end of the story. And that's how significant it is. Jesus healed the 12 year old girl who was dead. So now what I want you guys to do is I want y'all to actually do some worksheets based off of the story. So the first worksheet is called shape matchup. I hope you guys can see that it's called shape matchup. And basically all you do is you read the sentences below and each sentence has a missing word. And what you have to do is you have to find the missing word in this word box. And also this is going to be sent in the parents email. So at this time, parents, you guys should already have the email. So go ahead and check that for me. So the next worksheet is called what is different. Okay. What is different? So basically, you have two pictures and what I want you to do is I want you guys to color both of the pictures and after you color it, I want you to find what's different about the pictures and these two pictures, they're pretty much the same, but there is something that is different. I want you guys to circle what's different. Okay. And on the last picture, it's, it's just basically called draw a picture and everybody gets sick. Okay. I know it's flu season and I know we're still in the middle of a pandemic. So basically all I want you to do is I want you to draw a picture of you when you are sick. How do you feel? I know for me, when I'm sick, I turn into a baby. I am so needy and I feel so bad. So I want you guys to draw a picture and once you guys complete all of these, I want you to send them to me so that we can showcase them. Okay. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. God bless.